What's good, everybody? It's your boy Slint, aka Mr. Diffie, your favorite nappy headed producer with the twist back with another video. Today is a video that I want to make because a lot of you guys have been asking me a question on how I make these dope little videos like this. And I thought to myself, instead of doing it for you guys, because a lot of you guys have been asking me uh, how much do I charge to do that kind of stuff, and can I do it for you? Instead of doing that, I'm just going to teach you how to do it yourself for free in FL Studio. That way, you guys can make these dope little visual stuff for your beats, your music, whatever you want to do. And that way, you know, you can just stop hitting me up and you can just do it yourself. So, yeah, let's get right to it. So this is going to be a pretty simple video now i'm not going to go in depth on how to do this there's a lot more to doing this i'm going to show you the very basic way of doing it and understanding how to use the software the program to do it but it should help you if you want a full in-depth review i'll leave a link in the description below for a video dj av did where he did a full breakdown of the uh plugin called z game editor if you don't know what that is it's a video editing or visual effect plugin inside of fl studio built into it. i think as long as you got producer edition and up you should be good i'm not 100 sure don't quote me on that but just check to make sure you got it but yeah in the recent updates they made zgan editor a even more powerful tool and i think everybody should use it especially if you're uploading your own beats to youtube use zgan editor because it'll make your videos a lot better or instagram or twitter or whatever stop doing these bullshit ass you know little phone videos doing all this do something a little special make yourself stand a little bit so let's go and check it out so here's a little beat i got right quick you know i don't know if you guys heard this beat yet probably haven't if you follow my instagram you probably have but here's a little beat real quick and we're gonna make a cool little visual to go along with it so i'll play it real quick Okay, enough of that dope beat. Y'all already know how I do. So let's go ahead and actually start making this dope visualizer first. So what you want to do is go to your master channel and you want to open a Zgan editor. And I like to put Zgan editor as my last plugin. I don't think it really matters, but I mean, just be safe. Do that. So once you add Zgan editor, Zgan editor visualizer, you'll get this. And I already got one that's kind of preset. We're gonna make a whole new one. So I ain't worried about that. I do like this. So I'll make sure I don't say it because I think this is like the main one I use for that bits of power. But yeah, so it opened like this, and I have like a little of. Uh, window open here matter of fact let's just open up a new zga editor let's do it for fresh okay so here we go i got a brand new version of zga editor visualizer open now i do want to say that keep in mind zga editor is a video editing visual effect program inside the fs studio so you will need a pretty decent pc and you will need a pretty decent graphics card so if you have like a cheap little walmart pc you might not be doing too well with it you might be struggling a little bit but just keep that in mind like i said it still is a 3d visualizing plugin like after it's you know it's kind of like after effects and stuff like that so do keep that in mind so you really need a pretty decent pc they, ho they have made it a little bit more um efficient but still it's, it's a little hit and miss so just keep that in mind when doing that and also you know having in the video graphics card or you know something like that will make it better as well because it kind of uses that technology inside in video graphics card which i have a custom built pc so whatever but anyway this is what it feels like when it sets up now you can definitely go in and you can add in elements yourself like i said it pretty much works by just going in here clicking and you can add in different elements background they got clouds and they got all that kind of stuff terrain and scenes and it's got a bunch of stuff like that you can go in there and add in yourself and you can pretty much build your own like custom thing if you want to like i said there's a video dj app showing how to do that i'm not doing that you got your ad content you can add in web cams and stuff like that you can do a lot of good stuff with this html all that kind of stuff settings of course you can kind of set your settings and, you know make it more efficient for you or whatever you know hopefully do that and debug log which is whatever she says open gl and all that kind of stuff but what we're going to do is hit this wizard right here which is basically going to bring up the new way of making uh since the latest update i think 20.6 if i'm not mistaken they added in the wizard which allows you to pretty much do all that stuff automatic so let me go ahead and let that open so here it is right here now they got a bunch of preset templates up here as you can see i mean there's a ton of you can just kind of click in here and you know you got preset templates right there which you know you can just go in and find one you like and you might like that one you might ooh, that, that looks pretty cool you know it find one that kind of fits your beat like i said there's a bunch of preset ones that actually look 
pretty pretty dope i mean you know you can find something that you like like that's the dope one right there i mean you know you go through here a bunch of preset but what really the power that lies in this is using the randomizer feature so basically what you do is you just go random and you might be like nah i don't like that matter of fact i'm gonna play the beat and i'm gonna find one that i like and then i'm gonna show you how to edit it as well so let's play the beat so let's find one i like uh nope 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 and like i said it's just me simply hitting oh lord that's trippy um Ugh. yeah you see just hit i'm hitting that random button it's just like it's cycling through nice little i like that little, I like that little corridor one that's kind of dope um nah that's the one i, I kind of settled with but yeah i'm just gonna i'm gonna settle it down again guys like that i actually like that no we'll do something different bump it it's a car it's a tablet that won't fit the song but as you can see there's so many oh, i like that there you go we worked that so say i like this right here i'm like you know what this is the one i want to use i'm going for it now i can just start editing stuff in it so the title of this song is called bits of uh power and you know and then i see the author is of course going to be mr different and then no well, comments uh free dl you know so like that uh for the background you guys should go in here and change the background if you want to change it to something else you can just you know go left or right change it yourself you know add your own media that kind of thing you're gonna say randomize it the processing basically you can do like stuff like audio shake so basically when the song plays it's gonna be shaking you know jumping and all that kind of stuff but they got other effects as well you know that you can add in there you're like blurs and ooh, that blur is crazy intense you got that you know blooming which don't use bloom you got blur but i like the audio shake because it's dope um you can change the foreground position horizontal you also you know move these around click them you got different buttons to move them around which so i can actually move this you know maybe i want it my different over here with that right there and then maybe i want to move this over here um i could change the font size to make it smaller or bigger you know maybe make this a little bigger too and i just, I just click and pretty much dragging and it's pretty simple like i say uh we can italicize it make it longer we can rotate it all that good stuff you know so maybe i like that right there and this little thing down here uh i could change that as well the identifier so or, or that's how you change the font so if i want to change the font let's see what's glitchy yeah i like the glitchy and yeah, maybe i want to yeah yeah I look good let me click that move that back over there move that back back over here and you see i'm just going through and just kind of like you know just messing around you know trying to make it you know look somewhat decent i ain't trying to make it look crazy decent um and also let's say you want to set your audio source so you can set it to your different tracks you want to but i like to set it to the master so it actually moves with the master and that should be it and we just make sure and then you get the background pretty cool and you click click save the render you can do that you can close it and open it up you go and actually tweak it some more if you want to um there's a way to change this but i can't remember how to do it you might want to add dev that after that but it says press play this is i got the camera shake i actually changed the amount of camera shake and how far it camera shakes Yeah, it looks good. That looks real good. And like I said, once I'm done, say I'm happy with that. I'm cool with that. I like the way it is. Click continue and render. Now, of course, you come through here and tweak it some more, but it's about to bring up the render. Well, no, it ain't. Now it's ready. They go it bring up the render stuff. Now you got all your render settings. So I can go in here and do like, you know, YouTube, HD, 4K, 5K, which I don't know. They, they got Instagram story stuff. So you want to actually do Instagram portraits or story mode. They got templates for that. Facebook as well, TikTok, which is banned. Oh, um, or you go in here, you can actually make your own custom one and you can actually change all the parameters yourself. If you got custom settings that you know you want to use for whatever, hit OK. Make sure you hit browse and save it somewhere. And there it is. You check your format. It's always going to be uh, MP4. MP4 is like the best format for everything. Recommend it. And yeah, that's it. And there you go. But if you want to go through and tweak it some more, you can go through each individual little panel right here and actually change up some stuff even more and go more in depth with it if you want to. Um, like I said, I usually use the wizard to kind of get me a base or a preset. Then I go in here and kind of tweak it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So an easy, quick way to make your own little cool visualizing features inside of FS Studio. So you kind of get some cool videos. Like I said, I know you guys are tired of using like 
a static picture or using some bs old um after effects templates you found like from seven years ago and i know you guys are tired of using your camera and all that kind of stuff use this it's built inside effort studio the tools are there use the tools it'll make you stand out if i see something like this and your beats good i'm probably gonna be more worried about your beats than the next guy who got just a picture of you know some famous artist going whatever you know the whole time we you know the beats in the background black and white or some bs like that so yeah there you go right there so yeah uh i don't know what to say the start making some dope visuals put on instagram twitter i want to see this kind of stuff make sure you're doing it so yeah um with that being said I hope you guys like always say it's a little quick little video I'm not going in depth about it but this should help you guys make some dope visuals for your beats as long as you got fl studio yeah, if you got first too. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy like always. Y'all know who it is, your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, not motivated by the money, but the like, comments, subscribe, and views. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy like always. And yeah, it's hot in here, and I need to get ready for the next video. I catch you guys next one. Have a good one, everybody. Yeet.